Hey guys, what if I told you that there is a method that will help you learn difficult concepts very easily and quickly and also help you remember the concepts for a very long time. To know the secret of how to remember these concepts or difficult subjects for a very long time, stay tuned and watch the whole video. And if you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell icon so that you're notified every time I upload a video. So the technique or the method that we want to talk about is the Feynman technique. This technique is the most effective study technique and in this video you will learn how to do that effectively and to put it into simple words it basically states that you have to learn the concept in a way like you're teaching someone else. Now this technique is named after the physicist Richard Feynman. He was a great scientist who received a Nobel Prize for his work on quantum electrodynamics. Now he was also called as a great explainer because he had the ability to explain different or difficult concepts in very simple words. And he stated that if you cannot explain a concept or a topic to somebody else, which means that you have not understood it yourself. And if you do not understand the concept yourself, you will not be able to remember it for a very long time. And this was the entire concept of Feynman technique. You can use this technique to learn something new or to learn a difficult concept or to reinforce a difficult concept or a topic that you don't remember or even revise multiple topics for an exam and get confident about your long-term memory. Also, you can use this to reinforce or master a speech or a presentation that you would want to deliver. This technique has four steps and the first step is that you decide on a difficult concept or a concept that you want to learn and for example you pick up a topic from physiology for example blood clotting and you read the concept one or two times and try to understand it. Then you take a piece of paper and or a blackboard and you write the topic on the top. Step number two is that you explain the concept in very simple words or simple language. Idea here is that you write in such a way that it is easy for someone else to understand what you're writing down. Or basically, you write or you explain in such a way like you're teaching someone else. Now, once you do that, you will get stuck in certain areas which you find difficult to remember. And this is the step number three where you identify the problem areas and you then go back to the source to review. And this will narrow down the area of problem and you you will come to understand that the whole topic is not difficult but just a part of it and you can go back and revise this. Now this will also motivate you to study difficult topics and also cover and remember them faster for a very long time and also enable you to apply the concepts in your life and in your exams and help and motivate you to study further and more topics in a more interesting way. And step number four is to understand the topic more in depth. That is, you pinpoint any complicated terms and challenge yourself to simplify them. The entire concept is based around the fact is simplicity. So if you are able to understand it yourself, that is when you will be able to remember it for a very long time. And when you are able to explain this to someone else, you will further reinforce the information in your mind and remember it and reproduce produce it in the exam very easily. So the advantage of this technique is that it helps you with an overview and helps you understand where you're finding it difficult to remember and gives you with the framework that you will be able to produce a good thought process and write the answer without any discontinuity in the exam. Also, secondly, it helps you to reinforce the information in your mind and enhances your long-term memory. This technique also helps you to understand the concepts clearly in a stepwise manner 
and hence you are able to answer questions related to this topic by applying the concept that you have understood but the most important thing to know is when to use this technique because not every study topic or you cannot use it on every concept because it's a little time consuming uh, technique and hence uh, easy concepts that you're e- easily able to understand the concept which you just have to memorize you do not need to apply this technique when i was a student i used this technique time and again i just did not know there was a name for it i used it to study anatomy where uh, i had difficulty in remembering the pathways like those of the nerve pathways or the branches of the arteries or concepts in oral pathology like those of pathogenesis or concepts in physiology where multiple element interaction was present for example like that of blood clotting so uh, this is how you would apply this concept and not apply on every topic that you learn and understand especially not on the easy topics i hope this video has been beneficial to you for more such videos please subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell icon have a good day and thank you for watching my video for more such videos please like share follow and subscribe my youtube channel you can also follow me on instagram have a good day thank you